Intumescent cataracts are a challenge for the phaco surgeon. The rexus is quite difficult in these eyes owing to the high intralenticular pressure. In my technique, I use a cystitome attached to the bimanual irrigation aspiration system. The cystitome is introduced under the anterior capsule to aspirate the cortex, subcapsular cortex. This relieves the intralenticular pressure. You can see the needle is under the anterior capsule and aspirates the subcapsular cortex. Once the intracapsular tension is relieved, it's very easy to manage the anterior capsule and to attain a rexus of an adequate size. It's important to note that the initial rexus which we aim for is quite small because it's easier to control. Then we proceed to do phacoemulsification of the nucleus. Again, it's critical for us to remember that in these eyes we are having a smaller rexus. A smaller rexus is much more vulnerable uh, to getting damaged uh, during uh, the chopping maneuvers. So it's important that we keep this in mind. The process of phacoemulsification is very uh, similar to that of any other case. We divide them into multiple small fragments and then uh, remove it. Again, it's uh, critical to note that these eyes, these cataracts don't have any epinuclear shell. So when you're trying to remove the last, last piece, we need to be aware of these facts and probably stepping down the parameters will help us. Once the uh, bag is clean of all the lens material, we inject the foldable lens and secondary enlargement of the rexus is done to achieve an adequate size CCC.